Chris is obviously one of the uh, favorites in the locker room. He's so close to everybody. He's a big brother to, to many. He's just everybody's best friend. I mean, can you talk about how, I mean, this has really rocked your whole entire locker room? You know, it. Um, the way we try to approach things is literally, uh, like I said, we want to become close. For the good time, you know, I, I tell these guys all the time, this thing, this football season is about the journey, all right? So you want to be around guys that want to be on the journey with you. To do that, you have to care about each other. If you want to get the most out of your team, you have to start at some point caring about each other, all right? And when you do that, that builds relationships. Um, and Chris is one of those guys. His, his smile's infectious. His personality's infectious. He's, um, he's just overall well-liked, just like you said. And, uh, of course, I mean, everybody in that locker room is hurting for him, you know. Obviously, you know, nobody wants to ever go through something like this, but how valuable can it be? I mean, maybe you can speak from, you know, your perspective and what you, some things that you might have gone through, but how valuable can it be to have the kind of the brotherhood of the locker room coaching staff? I know this, when you go through bad things in life, you want people around you that care about you and that care about you for the right reasons. Um, and that has nothing to do with playing a five technique. It has nothing to do with, you know, taking on a tight end. It has to do with wanting your best interests in mind and getting you better uh, from a personal standpoint. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if nothing else, it puts things in perspective, okay? From the standpoint of, you know, in in this thing we call life, what is, what's important to you? Well, Chris is important to us. Chris is important to this locker room. And everything he's going through, uh, we feel. One of the hardest things you've had to do to Coach Freddie is not only talk to Chris, but then tell the team? Um, yeah, I think so. Hell, a lot harder than the games. But again, that comes with the reason it's so hard is that I think because of the locker room we've created, which if you want to relate it back to football, the reason why we create that locker room is we know we're going to go through hard times. You know, Monday was hard but nothing compared to what yesterday was. So when you start talking about perspective, that's perspective. Just for the sake of clarity, will he not be available this week? I, I can't say one way or the other on that. I, I know emo from an emotional standpoint, um, we're going to support Chris. I'm going to support Chris. His teammates are going to support Chris. Um, you know, we're, I have not even – given one thought about that and I don't want Chris to even think about that I told him yesterday this is beyond this okay we can make it whatever we want to all right as people in the business people covering the business and I'm not saying you are I'm just saying in general guys this is life all right we like to say different things about life when it really doesn't matter but when it starts affecting you all right, it gets serious, all right? And that's the way we should approach every area, all right? That's what we've tried to instill in these guys. So when you've got a bunch of guys that are close and to continue and to move in the same direction, it affects everybody um, because you end up caring about the person. You know, a funny thing happens when you start playing this game of football. You think you're just playing, you're coaching. Uh, you know, everything's fine until life hits, all right? And then when life hits, um, it's kind of a reality check. 